Use the new pen and ink filter in Photoshop Elements 11 to give your photo a cartoon look. Then make an interesting background by incorporating that filtered photo using blend modes. One of the new features of Photoshop Elements 11 is the pen and ink filter. This filter will take a photograph and give it a drawn or a cartoon look. Begin by opening a photograph that you would like to work with. Then choose File, Duplicate. In the Duplicate dialog box, type a name for the new file and click OK. You can close the original file. Now to apply the pen and ink filter, choose Filter from the menu bar, Sketch, Pen and Ink. In the pen and ink dialog box, at the bottom of the page you can zoom in or out and of course use the hand to move the position. Click on the 1 to 1 ratio icon to get the most accurate view of the pixels. I'm going to click on the fit in window icon so I can get a full view. Now over on the right click to choose one of the four effects presets. Now each preset has a base color but you can adjust the color with the hue slider. So now I'm going to click on the gray tones preset and then adjust the sliders to enhance the effect. The settings that you choose will really vary depending on the amount of highlights and shadows and hard lines in your photo. Here's where I set the sliders for my photo. Detail to 0.5, width to 3, darkness to 4, contrast to 1, hue to 0.12, contrast to 25, and fill to 0.95. When you're happy with what the image looks like, click OK. So now I'm going to incorporate this filtered photo onto the background of my layout. So I'm going to copy and paste or click and drag the pen and ink photo onto a piece of background paper. Press Ctrl T or on a Mac Command T and adjust the size if you need to and then click the green check mark to commit the changes. Now in the layers panel, click there to open the blend mode pull down menu and choose a blend mode. It'll vary depending on what kind of background paper you're using. I'm choosing overlay. Next, get the eraser tool. In the eraser tool options, click the arrow to open the brush preset picker. Click the arrow to open the brush pull down menu and choose basic brushes. In the brush preset picker, choose the 500 pixel brush with a soft edge. And then simply click and drag on your page to erase the sharp edges of the pen and ink filtered photo. So that's one way to incorporate the pen and ink filter in the all new Photoshop Elements 11. Is this filter alone worth the upgrade to PSE 11? Probably not, but don't make your decision quite yet. Check out our other videos focusing on the new features of PSE 11 and then you can make an informed decision. If you would like the step-by-step -step written instructions for this tutorial and access to additional free scrapbooking videos, go to this URL digitalscrapper.com slash 132. This is Christina Rambo with Digital Scrapper Tutorials.